This is transmural pressure and how it affects cerebral aneurysms. There's a formula to start. Your transmural pressure, TMP, is your mean arterial pressure minus your intracranial pressure. A higher transmural pressure increases your risk of aneurysm rebleeding, and rebleeding has a 75% mortality rate. There are a number of factors that increase your rebleeding risk. Rapid cerebrospinal fluid drainage, such as via a lumbar drain, aggressive hyperventilation, which will decrease your intracranial pressure and increase your transmural pressure, increased mean arterial pressure, acute hypertension during stimulating procedures. So these things that increase your rebleeding risk either increase your mean arterial pressure or decrease your intracranial pressure, thus increasing your transmural pressure. To prevent rebleeding, your main goal should be meticulous blood pressure control. You could use lidocaine, esmolol, or opioids, and you want to maintain deep anesthesia before intubation or cranial pitting, pinning, which would be very stimulating processes. You want careful management of hyperventilation, which is used for brain relaxation. Some other notes, you can do induced hypotension, and it used to be more frequently used. It's largely been abandoned now. There are some studies that show that it does not work as good as normal blood pressures. A normal to slightly elevated blood pressure is preferred to maintain collateral circulation. Temporary clipping reduces your rebleeding risk, but it also increases ischemia risk in affected areas. It's used to facilitate permanent clip placement. Again, some clinical periods requiring extra care. As we said here, intubation and cranial pinning and other stimulating points of the surgery.